Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we've got some amazing, great, little known thumbnail and preview secrets to keep you productive. If you're an editor and you want to have a visual cue of what you're doing but you want to control it, I'm going to show you some of that stuff right here, right now. So Premiere Pro gives you uh, a lot of ways to view things in the project bin, whether they're list or, or thumbnails view, uh, but there's a lot of ways to control the way that that looks. And you may not uh, know that you can look at almost any thumbnail and any sorting view any way you want. Let's go have a look. All right, so here's a typical list view that we're looking at in the project bin. And down on the bottom left, you have a choice of looking at the icon view. And you can look at these icons, which um, you can resize and position anywhere you want. Now, there's also this little preview area. If you click on the flyout menu, and on previous versions of Premiere Pro, the flyout menu is over on the right, but you can still get to this preview area, which allows you to click on a clip and see the preview of that and also get a little bit more information. It takes up a little bit more room up in the top. That's why Adobe does not turn it on by default, but it is very useful and you can scrub through this uh, and look at your clip. There's also a button over here for a poster frame. A poster frame um, is the thumbnail that relates to that particular clip. And uh, if you start everything with a slate and you're going by slate, but maybe the slate wasn't put into the, the uh, screen at the beginning of the frame, you can control that. Let me show you how to, how to set that. I want to show you on a different bunch of thumbnails. So let me open this one. This is a typical problem. Here we are looking at these thumbnails and uh, this was a, a music video I shot, and it's of the five members of the band, and you can't tell who is who. And if you mouse over and hover scrub, then you can see each one of those uh, people. So if I want to view this all the time, what I can do is click on it, drag until I get to the point that I think represents that clip, and you can right click and choose set poster frame or you can press shift p and now that's the poster frame so when i deselect it you can see there it is so we can now do this to each one of these uh, guys over here shift p so i can see who is who? Very easy. And this saves with the project. So the next time I open this up, I'm not going to have to redo this. This poster frame information will always be available. Now, when I go from list view to this view, I can see who it is. But wait a minute. What if I wanted list view and I want thumbnails? This is a feature that's little known and kind of hidden, but incredibly useful. If you want all of that metadata plus a thumbnail because you don't get a thumbnail, you can turn that on. So each one of these little flyout menus allow you to turn on thumbnails while you're in list view. And that same size slider scrolls out so you can see this information. Now I can see who is who and I can get all this metadata. All right. And let's go back to the bike clips in here. All right. When we're in thumbnail view, we're looking at the raw clips and Adobe added the ability, if we go back to our flyout menu, to thumbnails show effects applied. So I'm going to double click on this clip in here and we'll go to where he just jumps off the edge and I'm going to throw in an effect right in the source menu. And if you're not familiar with this, in the effects control, this is a master effect that I added. So you can uh, drop it in there and now it's in the preview. So this thumbnail has an effect applied and I can see that. The last thing I want to show you is when we're in list view, you can sort by any of these columns by clicking on the column. But how do we sort when we're in thumbnail view? Well, if you click down in here, you can sort by any of these uh, criteria. Right now it says user order. 
you know what this one's good for? Let me hit the tilde key and maximize this and drag this up. I could use this as a storyboarding feature. Drag this around and position this wherever I want. So this is a storyboard view. We can also go by the list view sort. So whatever I had in the list view as a sort, so if I'm sorting by media uh, duration, now when I go here and I'm using that view sort, I'm using that media duration. You can also use name, label, media type, start, all of this information that's available over here. This information, if you don't see it over there, it could be in the right or it could be in the metadata display. So again, back to the flyout menu, metadata display, there's a ton of information in here, for instance, like media type, and I could sort by things like that. And you can see media type that I'm sorting by. I wanted to show you these because some of these are buried, but they're incredibly useful. We want to have visual representation. We're shooting digital now, which means you're shooting way more, like 10 times more material than we did before. And being able to see this visually, organize it visually, set a poster frame is going to be a huge productivity gain for all of the editors. All right. Hopefully you found this informative and uh, thanks everyone for your wonderful support. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. We really do appreciate it. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.